Hello guys, this is from Mrs. Abby. In today's video, I would love to share with you guys my collections of my tiny plants that I have in my home to decorate my home with. Some people think that you only need the large plants to decorate with or to style your home with, but you could actually use the small plants to do the same thing, especially if you don't have a lot of space or you don't want too many plants that's you know placed on your tables or your end table coffee tables and countertops so i use these little small plants in a lot of areas in my home also when i'm decorating someone else's home i use small plants also so let me identify these plants for you and one reason i want to identify them you might want to consider buying these same little small plants and right now some of these plants are at some of the local nurseries, like the big box stores, like Lowe's and um, Home Depot, and even at some of the supermarkets, like Publix and Winn-Dixie, they are carrying a lot of these little small plants here, and they're sort of inexpensive. The plants that I have on this table, I think the least expensive one is like $2.99, and the most expensive one is $6.99, so this is what I paid for. Uh, these plants right here. Some my husband bought for me and some I bought for myself. So I'm going to identify these plants. And to the left of me right here, there's four small tiny plants and they are called Fetonia plants. And they are growing very well. And most of the plants that I have on this table, they're easy to care for. Okay, here's two other small tiny plants and they are Pearls and Jade. Very easy to care for. They're in the Pothos family, Pearls and Jade Pothos. And right here, I have four that I bought recently. And they're called the polka dot plants. And they're very cute. And I bought four of them in these little small, little cute pink pots. Right here, I have the Christmas cactus. And there's three of those. I bought them last year during the holiday season. And they are growing very, very well. Right here in the middle right here is the Dracino plants. And I have two of those. Now I've had these, I think, the longest of all the ones on the table. And they used to be very tiny. And they are slow growers. And I like that. <clears throat> and these are Dracino lemon lime. And right here is this cutie right here that sits right there alone. And I only have one of the, those right there. And this particular plant, I am learning a lot about this plant like here. Like all the other plants I know a lot about, this one I am learning about it. And it is a Dracaena Garcepiana, better known as a Florida Beauty. To the left of that one there is another beautiful plant. It is in the plant family, which is in the proud family, and it is a maranta, a red maranta. Right here is two golden pothos. They're small. I bought them about six or seven months ago, and they were very tiny, but they have grown a lot. But they are still in the same small pots. And right there, oh, I love those plants right there. They are so cute. Now, a lot of people buy these right here during Christmas season, which I did, but I love them year-round. And they are the Norfolk Island Pine, the Norfolk Island Pine. And I have two of those right there. Last but not least, I have two plants that is in bloom. And I love them. And they are called the Catlin Choi. And they are very pretty. And I have two small in a small two small pots that I bought just recently. Okay, guys, that is my tiny plant collection right now that I have, and all my other ones have they they have grown already where I can't call them tiny plants anymore. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, comment. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your family and friends. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.